So let's see how we can implement stacks using arrays. We know that arrays have a fixed length. So first we declare the maximum size of the array, say 9. And let's declare an array of int type of size 9. Now we have an array of int type and each element is initialized to 0. Now set a reference to keep track of the top of the stack and we initialize it to minus 1 because right now there are no elements in the stack. Now let's see we want to insert or push a new element 5. Think about how we can do that. Well, all we need to do is increment the value of top by 1. So it points to the 0th index now. And we update the data at index 0 to 5. That's it. Now let's push 12. So we increment the top by 1 again to make it point to the first index and update the data at index 1 to 12. Similarly, we can keep pushing other elements like this. Now, let's see the peak operation. All peak does here is return the element pointed by the top index, which in this case is 2. And the value of top is not changed in case of the peak operation, alright? Let's see the pop operation now. The pop operation, as you know, should remove the topmost element. And how can we do that? Well, it returns the element pointed by the top, which is 2 here, and then decrements the value of top by 1, which essentially is removing the top element because we don't have a reference to that element anymore. And the top now points to the element at index 2, which is 7. Similarly, we can remove the element 7 by returning 7 and then decrementing the value of top by 1. Now, if we remove all the elements of the stack and the value of top is minus 1 again, we can say that the stack is empty. Let's see the time complexity of these three operations we just saw. All the three operations that we can perform on a stack push pop and peak are all constant time operations. That is, all of these operations take O1 time. Why? Because the time taken by these operations don't really depend on the number of items that are in the stack. If we want to push a new item, it goes right on top of the stack and we can access that through the top index value, which is immediately available to us. Similarly, if we have to peak or pop elements from a stack, we again access the element using the top index, which does not really depend on the size of the stack. 